Okay, do you know what we're doing? No. No idea. Welcome back, everybody, to the LeBrant Family Channel or possibly the Colin Sav Channel because we're probably changing it to the Colin Sav Channel. Probably. Um, because we planned on making a family video and with four kids, it is just too tough for us. Yeah. Which is totally fine. Yeah. Um, but, you know, that's just life with four Sometimes kids. Sometimes we'll throw kid stuff in here, though. Yeah. Maybe, uh, I think I have us decorating our, our Christmas tree, actually. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll put us decorating our Christmas tree mm. footage. I asked you guys on Instagram. Savannah literally never has any idea what we're doing. Whenever I turn the camera on. So. <laughs> it's super genuine, though. Uh, I don't even see his Instagram stories half the time. He's like, did you see my Instagram stories? No. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I literally post Instagram stories just for Savannah to see them, and like 24 hours go by, and she never even saw it. <laughs> uh, it's gone now. Okay, so I asked Instagram to ask me the hardest questions that they could ask us. Okay. Okay, the most difficult questions. So we're going to turn this into a game. Okay. Okay, so I picked out 14 of what I thought were the toughest or most difficult, or just fun questions that people might want to hear that we have never answered before. Okay. Kind of questions. Cool. Um, I like it. I put them in a folder, and they're in the folder 1 through 14. Okay. So you will answer 7, I will answer 7. You don't okay. have to answer it. You're going to pull the number out of the hat. See, we have a cool, fun cowboy hat here. You pull the number out. Whatever number you get, you have to read the question, and you can either answer the question uh, as honestly as you can mm -hmm. and get the point, or you can say, nope, I'm not going to answer touch on that question and eh, you lose a point okay okay or you don't get the point whoever okay. has the most points by the end of the video is a winner whoever doesn't have the most points at the end of the video is a loser it has to suffer the world's most terrible consequence on planet earth Ugh. deal fine okay right, cool what number did you get 14 number 14 what are the chances that you get the very last one okay so you just scroll to the very end of that folder it's like <laughs> the easiest one <laughs> i'll answer this one i guess does cold stupidity have an impact on the kids <laughs> This I'm, question was actually asked a lot. I'm guessing, I'm guessing like, because you're not stupid. He's actually a lot smarter than I am. That was kind of you to say. Yeah, you are. You're really smart. But you just come off as very goofy and silly. Mm -hmm. So people, that, that, maybe that was people being mean. But in my opinion, I take that as they're saying you're like silly goofy. So, yes, silly. I would say it totally rubs off on the kids because all of our kids are outgoing, funny, mm. silly, goofy, have lots of friends. They're all like, like wow. you. See, that's my lovely wife. She somehow turned a question that was probably meant for harm. Yeah. To come across as sweet. But I don't look at it as loving. harm. I'm going to get this guy. Is that's a good one. Number one. Number one? Are you kidding me? You got one and I got 14. What are the chances of, of that? What are the chances? I guess one in 14. One in 14. Those are okay. your chances. Okay, this one. Oh, this one. This one was asked a lot. I'm sure. Um, will you ever adopt Everly? Which is very much more serious than the last question. Yeah. Um, obviously, that is entirely up to her. Yeah. That is entirely up to Everly. Mm -hmm. We've had... And we've told her that, and we've talked to her about it, and we've told her what that entails and how we can still keep her dad's last name, um, but she would just have her dad's last name as well as... LeBrant, because mm -hmm. right now she has her dad's last name and my maiden name. Yeah. Um, so basically, it would just be taking my maiden name off. Oh, well, that was weird. Look at this random question I just found. Huh. It, it's asking us. It's asking us how we've been staying so healthy. Oh. Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> We should let them know. So we'd like to thank AG1 for sponsoring this video. Uh, this has actually become a morning routine for me and Savannah where while the kids eat their breakfast, I take a scoop for both me and Savannah because AG1 has really just improved our entire foundational nutrition. It actually tastes great too. Simple as that, water, AG1 powder. Cheers. So I've been drinking AG1 every morning for the past three months and honestly guys, I feel better than I felt in a long time. So I like drinking AG1 in the mornings because being a mom with four kids, I just like being more focused and more energized throughout the day. Entering the sick winter season with four little kids, I knew I needed something to support my overall immune support and finding out that AG1 has vitamin C, zinc, and functional mushrooms and more, I was already sold. But there's so much more that AG1 has. So I was pleasantly surprised the first time I took a drink of this because it's actually really refreshing and tastes great. AG1 is full of pre and probiotics to support gut health. 
In case you can't read all this that fast, screenshot this right now to truly figure out how awesome AG1 is. And as many of you guys know, I've been leading a men's workout group in my garage first thing in the mornings. There's no better way to start my day. So head on over to drinkag1.com slash LeBrantFam to get started on your order. AG1 is going to give my community a free one-year supply of AG Vitamin D3 plus K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Thanks to AG1 again for sponsoring today's video. Yeah, we just told her when she's ready, if she wants to, that Cole is always willing to, so. She knows that I'm willing to, and uh, if she never decides to, that doesn't change anything. Mm -hmm. uh, whether she is yep. my adopted kid, or yep. biological or non, whatever it is. Basically, it would just be loved. on paper, but. Yeah, that's the only difference that it'll make. Mm -hmm. um, so if that's something that she ever wants to do, then I would love to do that. If it's something that she never wants to do then I won't love her any differently for not doing it. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and, and in reality, I think it's less about maybe me and her and more about her just having this the same last name because obviously as you go through school or a lot of time like if we're flying in the airport, she's on like a different ticket and they always kind of bring that up. And so there's situations like that. Yeah. I think as she gets older, she just might want the same LeBrant last name to um, just have the same last name as your siblings and, yeah. and that kind of thing and less about um, our... Yeah. Relationship. Yeah. Individually, right? Yep. Um, so it's complicated, but it's also simple at yeah. the same time. Totally. Do I get the point? Yes. Okay. Good job. Could you kind of answer some of that too? But so. maybe I get like 0.5. No, no, no. That, that was still my question. Okay. There <laughs> you go. Ready? 12. How do you know when it's time to cut a friend or significant other off mm. because of toxic behavior? Mm. So this, That's one was, a good one. this one was like personal, but I just felt like it was like something that we have been through in our lives Yeah, a few times. Just obviously you come across toxic people yeah. and I'm interested to hear you answer this one. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever officially like cut a friend off. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like that's just not well, definitely in my drawn nature. There's, yeah, there's been boundaries where I don't hang out with the friend as much anymore or stuff like that. But there's never been a time, like even those friends that we don't, I don't hang out with them as much anymore. We still talk occasionally. Mm -hmm. So that I've never like cut a friend off. Mm -hmm. Having like a priorities, especially mm -hmm. as you get older and more busy with wife and kids, what we've done well with is like, okay, what are our priorities? God, and we actually just talked about this, like making yeah. sure like we're showing up the church, we're prioritizing that maybe over like kids' activities. And yeah. like, like there's so many things, whether it's whatever it is, relationship, friendship, activity, life. Yeah. That as you have those priorities, it makes it easier to say no, like, hey, I just, I can't squeeze that in. I can't do that because I have to prioritize my marriage or mm -hmm. my relationship with one of my kids or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. But it's and also then, very personal and difficult. And then relationship wise, I think that's much harder to do. I personally, just because I feel like lots of girls struggle with toxic relationships. And I think I'm no expert on this, but I think that it totally has to be you wanting to get out of that relationship and you knowing your worth and that you're better than that. And you need to realize that. For me, it was a total God moment. For others, it could be something of just, I don't deserve that. I'm lucky to away, you know? Mm -hmm. Depends on the person. But it definitely has to be you because I had all my friends, my parents, and people saying, you could do better. You deserve better. And I never listened to anybody. Mm -hmm. So it was all just God's timing and me actually believing that I could do better. Mm -hmm. So that's my take on that. Good answer. Yeah. You get the point. Okay. Wow, so far we haven't dodged any questions, which I'm pretty proud of this on. Nine, okay, I like that. Do sleepovers scare you? As a survivor of, I can't bring myself to let my girls go. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of hoping that you'd probably get this one, but- Darn, but, yeah, but, but, I wish I, I got mean, this one. We're both fairly passionate yeah, about this. Our, our kids don't have sleepovers. I'll help you. You have to give me another point five though, so I get an extra point. <laughs> <laughs> Long answer short, we our kids don't have sleepovers at other people's houses mm -hmm. for, for that reason. Um, and, and not even for the, not just for that, for that reason. Not yeah. for that reason. Yeah. That's Cause there's, the yeah. Cause that's a big reason. Yeah. Um, there are like certain families I probably would let my kids sleep over at their house, yeah. but I don't because it's a fine line of if I let them do that, I have to let them do the other person's house because yeah. then, you know, it's a rule. That's just nobody. Yeah. For yeah. House. We're very intentional about who our friends are. Um, who our close friends are, you know, mm -hmm. we'll be friends with everybody, but who our close friends are, um, we're very intentional about who our kids' close friends are. Obviously our kids can be friends with whoever they want, yeah. but whose house they might be going over to, over to and that kind of stuff. Yeah. As parents, we will say yes and no to that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, 
So it's just about protecting our kids the best way that we can. And personally, our kids don't have sleepovers at other people's houses. But they have sleepovers at our house. But Not they. Because <laughs> but we have really. control over who can sleep over at our house. If mm-hmm. there's kids that we know come from great families and um, are a great influence in our kids' life, yeah. then they're more than welcome to have a sleepover at our house where we can monitor the things that we feel need to be monitored. Yeah, totally. And obviously, family to family, you yeah. you have to figure that out personally. Yeah. So, yes. We're aware of that. But I do think, though, when you make a rule, you have to really stick with it. And you can't, like, let Mm -hmm. certain things happen here or there. Because I feel like that's where it gets tricky. It's like, she doesn't have sleepovers, but she can sleep at so-and-so's house. But it's like, hmm. Yeah. Then it starts getting We kind of cut off the sleepovers a while ago. Uh And there there have been many times. She did sleepovers for, like, probably two years. Not a lot. She probably slept over at four people's houses Mm -hmm. in two years. But, um, like, they were our closest friends. And then we just kind of decided. Nothing happened. Yeah, we just kind of decided let's stop the sewers because yeah. it just should be a rule that we just have for all of our kids. So yeah. I feel like with your first kid, you kind of learn. And there's a lot of gray area things. Like you can almost be, like you're saying, I'm going to justify it this one time. Mm-hmm. Or, and like you almost can't do that. So we've said mm-hmm. no in some like hard situations where like she was just at this dance party thing that all the girls were sleeping over at. And mm-hmm. we let her stay until about midnight. Mm-hmm. And then it was time to pick her up, even though it would have been so much easier at midnight just to let her sleep over. Yeah. We're exhausted. We don't want to go back out, but we have this rule. Yeah. Even though there's no, not even other boys there. There's no boys even there. It's just a girl thing. Yeah. Um, it's just our rule. Yeah. So if like she knows that, then it's just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you guys get it. Just And we still haven't figured this out. We have not figured out parenting. We have not figured out family. We have not figured out marriage this is just what we're learning as and we're that really kind of gets her sleepover fixed because she'll sleep at Gigi's probably like once a month so and she again her- she can sell friends sleep over at our house yeah. if she wants and she yeah. does quite often okay what'd you get okay number seven. Ooh, lucky number seven right in the middle how did you wait until marriage i feel like we've talked about this question like a bit yeah but maybe not yeah um i, I kind of forget yeah how did we it was very hard yeah but yeah Together, Savannah and I waited. We made the deci- and- we made the decision when we first started dating that we were going to. We got, we got married very fast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone jokes like if you're a Christian and you're waiting until but marriage, still, you get married fast. So even yes, a year helps. of waiting is was difficult. You know, when you love someone so much, and mm-hmm. so yeah. you just make it happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It wasn't easy. Is the yeah. easiest way to put it. And you just got to set boundaries where you feel are very important. Yeah. Know your weak spots, put boundaries in, in those places. Who do you think it was easier for? I, I think it was easier for you. Yeah, I would probably say that, right? Yeah, because well, you, you've told me that before. Yeah. And I know it was very difficult for me. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was difficult for me too, but I think it was easier for me because I knew what it was like not waiting in mm-hmm. relationships. And so I was like, well, I want to figure out what it will be like waiting and it was just so much greater. Mm-hmm. So that was really cool for me. And I think I it was easier for me not to do that because I had already done it in yeah. the past. Great answer. Yeah. Great answer, honey. Number four. Lucky number four. How do you handle disagreements around the way you raise your kids? Great question. Yeah. Parenting is like the season of life that we're in right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and we fortunately don't disagree a lot. I think that... A very important thing around getting married, and again, we are no marriage experts, but finding someone that even if you don't have kids yet, talk you, about these things before. You talk too. about how are you going to discipline your kids. Yeah, you know, are you going to do this? Are you going to do this? What are you going to do in these situations? Because I we know so many people. Not that like we did that before, because we it just kind of happened because of Everly. So Everly's I feel like we're there. giving that advice because we we've had Everly and we kind of figured yeah. that out before. I have young siblings who are all dating and I tell them the exact same thing. But thing. I think it would be like, really awesome for couples to talk about that kind of stuff before so then when you get into the parent life, it's The not number like, one thing Whoa. that married couples argue about is their kids. Yeah. And just things that happen with kids. Parenting is extremely difficult and yeah. marriage can be extremely difficult at times. So And you're not always going to agree on everything. There's going to be things where yeah. you have to compromise. Or, you were raised a certain way where your parents did things and you either liked it or you didn't and your spouse... A totally different set of parents or a totally different set of... So the more that you can talk about and come to conclusions on before you get there, mm-hmm. I think the better. And it's it, it's really attractive. It was really attractive for me to see how Savannah parented Everly. And I agreed with most of how she was already doing it. Mm-hmm. So I think as you're dating and you're asking these questions, 
I personally found it really attractive and I would encourage you to find it attractive to as someone is naturally saying things that you agree with in parenting, that should check some yeah. boxes. Yeah. If, if there's already a lot of like, oh, I don't know about that one. Oh, you're going to do that. I don't, I don't, and, and there's already a lot of that before the kids are even there. Yeah. All that being said, there, yeah. there has been several times and there will continue to be times where things happen that mm-hmm. we don't see eye to eye on. Yeah. Um, like in the, in the, I'll give just like a really small example. Christmas season, right? Christmas season. I gift, already know what he's going to talk about. Gift giving. <laughs> it's happening right now. Savannah loves gift giving. That's one of her love languages. She's so good at it. And uh, I love giving gifts. In my opinion, maybe too much so. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I am so always... So I go a little overboard on I'm Christmas. Always, hey, I do, you guys. Gifts. But it's like the one time I truly Savannah's go overboard. Savannah's always like maybe more. In life. So we're trying to find compromises in the middle. Yeah. I'm like, okay. I just love Christmas so much. She doesn't 100% agree on how I would have Christmas morning be. And I yeah. don't necessarily 100% agree with how she would. So how can we meet in the middle to where as yeah. a family it is a happy... But I've gotten better. Yes, and I've gotten better. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so Cole would say the kids can each get eight, cres- eight presents for Christmas. And he'd say, but I think we should make them give away half of those. And mm-hmm. in my head, I'm like, okay, I don't think this is the time... To give away the presents. I think, sure, let's go through their playroom. Let's donate. Let's go buy time. presents. <laughs> let's go buy time. presents. <laughs> mm. This is one example of, yes, in marriage and parenting your kids, there's going to be a lot of ways. Again, how you were raised, it's yeah. different than how your spouse was. And you got to find a common middle ground. Every night we pray, and one, one of the things in our prayer is that we would be a team. Yeah. We have to be a team. It cannot be Savannah raising the kids how she wants to, and I raise the kids how I want to, and hope that they turn out okay, because our marriage will not. Yeah. And therefore, our kids will be suffering because of. Yeah. Um, we got to be a team. Yeah. And that is a lot easier said than done, but yeah. I think we're doing a pretty good job. Yeah, we are. We're into our seventh year of marriage, and this is whenever most divorces happen. I, think I know, that's crazy. Marriage. That's crazy. I and didn't know And we are that. still madly in love. <laughs> Should we give them an example of how no. madly in love we are? No. Come on. No. Come on. No. Is it my turn? Actually, turn? it's one of the questions, so maybe we'll okay, get it. Okay, I'm good. I think one of the questions is show everybody how madly in love you are. I hope Thir- you one. 13. Oh, that is the one. Look. If Pinocchio said my nose is going to grow now, would it grow? I've been stuck on this for too long. No hate genuinely curious. Do you ever regret putting your children on the internet? Oh, that's a good one. That's a great one. Um, Sometimes. Yeah, I wonder if we're going to go over this. Should I change the SD card before No, we, we... could be quick. Okay. My SD card is dying, so I'll keep this fairly quick. Uh, I, would, I would say sometimes, yeah, for sure. I would say there's lots of times and most of the time where I think it's so much fun. The kids love it. They like looking back on old videos. It's like having home videos. It's super cute. Like we'll put mm-hmm. on old videos for the kids all the time and they just think it's like the best thing ever. So there's mm-hmm. times where I'm like, okay, that's all worth it. Yeah. And then there's times where I'm, we'll post something and a you know, bunch of mean comments and... I don't ever read them, but it's just one of those things where it's like, ugh, I hope my kids never read that one day. Yeah. Well, and that's why we are doing a lot less and less yeah. of and so with I'm the kids, but not entirely. And whenever we things. started filming as a family seven, eight years ago, people were making Instagram accounts of their dogs. People yeah. were making Instagram accounts of their new favorite pair of shoes. Yeah. It was just like the thing to do of just like um, including everything. and Everybody in our family was our everything. So it just like made sense. And like... If you look back on any of my videos I've ever made, I've never been one to be like a solo guy in front of the camera. And same with Savannah. Like some influencers are great about like just like it being all them. Yeah. But I don't, really, I don't really come across like super humble. But like I just don't really like love myself. But I love my wife and I love my kids and I love my family. And that's what I wanted people to see is that I love Jesus. I love my wife. I love my kids. And, well, I, want, and I just wanted to share that. Personally, all of me is just a mom. So I feel like I would just be lying completely if my if it was just me yeah. talking or just me doing stuff. Like I'm just, mm-hmm. I love being a mom. That's what we wanted to so embody I like showing was mom stuff. hopefully a loving, healthy marriage yeah. and loving, healthy parents of their kids. Yeah. And I think that most people get that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and some people won't. And that's okay. A lot and those of people, people just need to stop way. watching our videos. I'm so, I get confused by that. Yeah. Just don't watch. That's all. But they're watching. They are. They're watching. It's really weird. And, and that's <laughs> and that's the good part is uh, as they always watch. But thank um, you. <laughs> um, we could obviously go a lot longer on that one, but that's a very short-winded yeah. answer. Okay, sorry guys, I had to change that C card. Um, I think you're up. Five things you guys butt heads about when it comes to parenting. So this was kind of we the. We kind of talked about that. That was kind of the other one, but you can at least like maybe um, say just. Honestly, some of the I would say the Christmas thing is pretty big. Yeah. Because around Christmas time, it's always like a conversation that we 
This is seven or eight Christmases in a row now. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, <laughs> and, and this usually happens with birthdays too. I would say probably Everly dance stuff, mm -hmm. the dance clothes that she wears. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I think we, we've answered all the questions. Hey. You're not putting them back in the hat, are you? No. Your marriage is solid, but what would you do if you found out one of you was cheating? Oh, that's scary. Yeah, I thought that was a good one. <laughs> that's right a good right one. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, my, it's my question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got to stop sorry. answering my questions. I would just be... I mean, I feel livid. Like, yeah, I mean, what, what do you want me to say? Like, yeah, I mean, the obvious answer is confused, shocked. I think they want to know: would you, would you immediately want to get a divorce, or would you try to work it out? I think that we, we've actually talked about this. Mm -hmm. like, That's probably what yeah. I assume people want to know. I think that as awful as it is, I think both of us would try to work it out. Mm -hmm. Just because I not that they we're saying I'm not justifying this. Do it. <laughs> I'm not, just, I'm not giving you the pass here, Yeah. Uh -huh. but. Number 11. How do you instill confidence in your children when they could read mean judgmental comments? I will say first off, we need to clarify that. Yeah, first off, don't. they don't read mean comments, but I'm sure that. Because none of them have access to social media. No social media, no cell phones. We haven't had to deal with that yet, even though I'm sure when she's a teenager and maybe one day when we decide that she can have her own social media, it's going to happen. And I, my hope is that we've instilled enough confidence in her that when she does go to read those comments and I'm going to prepare her for those comments, that she is able to do what I do and look past them mm -hmm. and just know that. Not finding your worth, good or bad. Yeah. In the comments. You can. Totally. A lot of people get on social media and they're yeah, posting good. because they're getting a lot of praise. Uh -huh. So they think, oh, I'm the best this. Yeah. I'm beautiful. I'm this, this. And then all of a sudden. If you guys know social media, people love you and people hate you mm -hmm. um, all in the same day. You, know, yeah. you can do one dumb thing. So like, don't let the praise get you on a high horse and don't let the hate make you think you're awful. Mm -hmm. But you're true friends, you're true yeah. community, and we've been very fortunate in our life, outside of our kids' lives, just our life, having a great community at our church and our friends who know us and love us despite our success, despite our failures. Mm -hmm. um, they yeah. don't let that, that define us and we don't either. So. Yeah. Three. Number three. There's only two left. There's only two left. Um, th this one's funny because this one actually goes with that one. Do you feel like YouTube has changed Everly and the other kids in any ways, good or bad? A good thing is they get to spend so much time with their mom and dad. Yeah, yeah, we've gotten to spend so Which much quality time blessing. with our kids. Uh -huh. We've gotten incredible Otherwise, opportunities that we wouldn't have gotten if. A great perspective on this is, um, at least a healthy perspective that I like to look at it in is, we have talked with Everly now about silly things that are on the internet. Um, silly yeah. things that people have said about our family, silly TikToks that have maybe gone viral. Um, it's very easy for negative things to go viral, right? That's why paparazzi are always posting terrible tabloids about celebrities and this and that because people love to see and read negative things as, as bad as it is. Um, so we tell her about that and we remind her that negative people feed on negativ negativity. Um, so even at a young age, she's aware of bad things that can and will be said. Yeah. Um, and I think that a lot of teenagers are maybe thrown into social media at 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, whenever their parents give them a phone and give them access to the social media. And maybe the parents aren't even aware of it because they're kind of older or they're not active or whatever it is. So they don't really know how to have these conversations with their kids. So then whenever their kid starts receiving so much negativity or hate because that's what's going to happen on social media... They don't know who to go to. They're so blindsided. They're so confused. And maybe they take those comments seriously. Mm -hmm. Where I'm very fortunate that Savannah and I have had so much awareness around this. Yeah. That we have had conversations with everybody already, even though she doesn't have a phone or social media. But pre preparing her, and we will with all of our kids, that um, nothing that anybody is saying really matters that much. Yeah. So don't take it, and it goes back to the last thing. Don't let the praise boost you up. Don't let the negativity. These people don't know you. Yeah. Right? Um, I care and I tell and I tell Everly and even Cole if we're ever in situations we should only care what our friends and family are thinking of us mm -hmm. our closest friends and our family mm -hmm. and if we want their opinion that's the only people that we should really be seeking to ask yeah. not, yeah. And, and, not social media and then you could ask the question like why even do social media if that's the case yeah um, I think that 99% of normal happy content people in their life don't go around um, necessarily commenting or um, 
Well, yeah, it's just, it's sad people leaving mean comments. It's not the, happy people leaving mean yeah, comments. Yeah, yeah. The sad, the sad people, the, so, the, the mean, angry people, they're going to be the ones pushing their hate and yeah. anger out there. Um, but the 99% of the supporters are just going about their happy lives, seeing your stuff, yeah. supporting your stuff. And again, giving our family amazing opportunities, but also the influence and the finances that we've been able to make through social media. We don't post and we don't say all that we do, but we know that it is far worth some silly, hateful, lying, totally. lying comments. Yeah. The people that we've been able to help, um, we yeah. wouldn't have been able to help otherwise. So yeah. that goes so much farther than yeah a couple lies yeah we we could really i we aren't prepared for you we can make a whole video we, we could definitely prepare a lot on this if we wanted to yeah um but to each their own and to each family their own but this yeah. is this is truly how we feel mm -hmm. is best in our family and our situation yeah okay all right there's, there's two more i'm going for 10 i lucky, saw it i picked 10. it do posey and zealand know that ev is their half sister i'm curious how you explained um they're too little to they know that she has another dad mm. they know that but i don't i think they're, they'd be too confused for me to be like she's your half sister so that's just, i mean it'll it'll happen later on when they ask me the question yeah but everly knows but she doesn't think anything of it it's kind of just oh mm. that's what it is what is, what something, is something you wish you knew before getting married um and maybe even like before marriage figuring out like family stuff like what are we going to do for Thanksgivings? What are we going to do for Christmas? Other than there's no, like, I, I think that for us, it's never been an issue because yeah. that's just something we decided on really quick. For others, it could be an issue of like, oh, but I've always done Christmas yeah, at my yeah. mom's or mm -hmm. I've always done Thanksgiving at my mom's. So you're yeah, saying that we can't do that now. Yeah. And that becomes like a big issue in, in mm -hmm. marriage or things like that. So maybe yeah. that's something to talk about before. Yeah, too. for sure. Family each, stuff. each family, especially if you each come from Traditions like a big family. that you've done that you really love and want to keep. Yeah. Yeah, we've like been that. fortunate that our family hasn't really pulled us apart, per yeah, se. Yeah. But I feel like we know a lot of families and just, yeah. I think it's very normal for them to be like, oh, come on, you got to come here. And then them say, no, you got to go there. So then it uh -huh. just kind of like pulls uh -huh. yeah. apart. Um, yeah. So that's definitely a good one. 